Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where we are currently having a bit of a rebellion off over here. We're going to need to deal with that and we are on our way to do so. I think, yeah, we've got this unit going over there. That'll be fine. No problem there. Now I would like to attack Oirat soon. They're currently being attacked by Shagatai, which is not necessarily amazing for us. That said, Shagatai is weaker than us, at least for the moment. Our mercs are going to reset here. What do they have for manpower currently? Okay, good to know. I think we're going to move these guys over this way. And we're just going to head over this direction, just in general. I'm definitely interested in attacking Oirat here. How many troops do they have currently? 65k? Okay, they probably aren't going to beat Shagatai. But that's fine. Okay, so we wreck those guys. We're going to move in here and we're going to declare a coattail war for sure. I want to get something out of Oirat here. Shagatai is already heading in over here. We're not surprised about that. Now, we can fight Shagatai. With them having 140,000 troops right now, we have more than that right here. And that doesn't count these guys or these guys. Or our vassal nations. So that's all very, very interesting. Now, Coden is at 172 right now. We can bring this up by another 16. That brings us up to 188. Yeah, that, that would actually be fine. So we're going to continue our relation improvement there. We can get there. So that'll be perfect. So we're going to go ahead and declare on Oirat here. And this is going to be coattailed. They're going to have ticking, so that's fine. We're going to head in over this way. And just take what we can. It's not going to be a lot, but I want to prevent Shagatai from getting all of this. So this is literally just these four provinces that we can get right now. But we're going to coattail this. Wait a second. They're moving out of here. I don't know why they would do that, but okay, they moved back in before we could get there. That makes more sense. 75 dip power or a stability? We'll spend the dip power. Wait, we actually control that. Wild. Okay. So, what's going on here? Military access from Manila. They're at war with Tondo. Sure. That's fine. So, we didn't get that. That's to be expected. So, we're at 32% and Shagatai is at 68%. Okay, they're going to have ticking, so we're going to back off here a bit. What are supply limits like over here? Supply limits are reasonable. Cool. Okay, so we're hoping that Shagatai is going to exit this war soon. 50 admin power? Yes, please. How are we doing on our tech across the board? 28 across the board. Okay. How are we doing on our institution spread? It is spreading. But not the fastest. Okay. That said, it will be spreading in a few locations fairly soon. So that's good. I would really like it if Shagatai would finish their war. And just take what they're going to take. We're going to fight Shagatai, of course. That is absolutely something that we want to do. But in a bit. Not right now. Cavalry combat ability is fine. I want to take a look at our current force limit. We can get another standard template going here incredibly soon, and I think doing it right now is not a terrible idea. So we're going to get this going up over, like, we don't have the manpower, right. Uh, we need, we're gaining a thousand per month. That's okay. Lose five prestige. That's okay. Hmm, that's all occupied by Bengal. That's fine. Now, if we were to declare on Shagatai, what would this actually end up looking like? They would have a pretty serious advantage of us, on us, because they're allied with Delhi. So that's actually not an option for us at this moment. But I do want to prevent them from taking some territory over here. That is absolutely something that I'd like to do. Let's get back to drilling if we can. I think we have to be on allied territory for that. Not occupied. 
but that's okay. And Oirat will eventually and end their war with Shagatai. Well, rather, the other way around. Shagatai will eventually end their war with Oirat. So we can get these guys drilling, which they are. Drill here, drill here, and drill here. Cool. Did our combat width increase? We should check that. Combat width is 40, so nope, we're good. Sounds good. And we're going to continue to replenish our manpower for a bit here. Okay. We can now see that Shagatai took what they were going to take. Let's head down over this direction with a couple of armies. And this looks good. We'll keep these guys drilling. We don't need them. What does Oirat have for troops right now? 33k? Yeah, this is not a problem. Nanai is already sieging over here. That's great. And they've already finished it. Hilarious. So, Delhi is a bit of a problem for us. For sure. The fact that they're allied with Shagatai does make me sad. Lose the stability or 719 ducats. I don't like it, but there we go. So, we're now maxed with war score against, uh, against Oirat here. And we cannot core this, but what we can do is we can take this territory here and then make Oirat into our vassal. And that is absolutely something that we're interested in doing. So we're going to vassalize Oirat. There we go. And all of these troops can head back over this direction. They can chill like over here. Sounds good. We're going to start coring all that. That'll cost a couple hundred admin power to core. And no real problem there. So we got some nice territory out of it. Hmm. Republican tradition. We don't actually need Republican tradition. And there was a revolt over here. <laughs> Funnily enough, they spawned right on a Ming army. So we don't have to do anything about that. That's perfect. Okay. At this point, we are just waiting for some manpower to come in. Delhi is fighting Bengal. Bengal is at war with Ming. And so is Delhi. Ah. A potential opportunity here. We're going to move closer to the Shagatai border. I'm not convinced that we're going to actually uh, stop there for the moment. Or we're, I'm not convinced we're actually going to declare this for the moment. But if we see an opportunity where Delhi would not join here, I don't think we care about Kara Koyunlu. They're way out over here. They do have 262k. Ming is not fighting Shagatai, of course. Shagatai broke their truce, or rather broke their alliance with Afghanistan. Okay. Ooh, a free stability. Yes, please. I'm a little surprised. Well, probably because Shagatai is a tributary of Ming. That's probably why they weren't called into this war. I think that's what's going on there. But if Ming does enough damage to Delhi, then this will be absolutely fine for us. Now, Asugi Separatists are brewing up. We're going to start heading down over this way. Okay. We're going to keep an eye on this if Ming wrecks them enough. We'll declare. Or, if Delhi and maybe Kara wouldn't join. Kara is not in any war here. They're allied with Timurids and Shagatai. Cool. We can grab an offensive idea here. And how close are we to no longer being ahead of time? Eight years? I think we can definitely grab glorious arms here. Prestige from land battles is doubled. Cool. So with us in position over here, we're going to go back to drilling. I'm not expecting to declare this war anytime soon. We're just keeping an eye on it. If we get the opportunity to declare it, we will happily do so. Ming is currently pretty occupied by Bengal here. Actually, we might expect Ming to lose this war. Delhi plus Bengal are likely stronger than Ming. In which case... We just want to chill for the moment. That would absolutely be what we'd want, at least until the truce with Russia is up. 
which is going to be in about five years. Okay. Sounds good. So Ming is struggling. Yeah, Ming is definitely struggling right now. What what are the Ottomans thinking? They still want our provinces. I was hoping that we'd have kicked them out of here and they would lose all interest in being over here and just give up on that. That was the hope. It would appear that that is not what they've done. Okay. Well, that's fine. Our treasure fleet showed up and I would like for the moment to work on getting some, I think, economic upgrades going. Ming Wan's admin power. That's a little awkward. I think that I want to get some economic upgrades going here. We could definitely use some economy. So let's go into our buildings. That's development. Let's go into buildings and look at great temples. 0.18. Okay. Uh, counting houses are way better. Way better. So we'll get one of those going. We can also make a state down over here. And that is definitely something that we want to do. Because we want to make those full cores rather than territorial ones. Perfect. Printing press is giving us benefits, military, well, actually 20 power in every category. That's pretty great. We can make another state over here. Sounds good. There's not really a reason not to make states, unless you are uh, above your governing cap. So we'll just core all of those provinces for 72 admin power. And we can core Tate as well. There we go. So our overextension is dropping here. And how are we doing on our troop count? Yes. Portugal just rivaled us. Interesting. Of course, we're currently in a little bit of danger because Ming is getting a little bit hammered right now. Like, they're getting absolutely wrecked by Bengal plus Delhi. What is this war even? Attacker against Calm. Okay. Yeah, Ming is definitely having problems with this war. And that means that our stability is a little on the lower side. That said, we could take over Korea. That's an interesting option. So that would mean that we would come over this direction. Something like, well, we'd probably want to have at least one force over here. And I would like to move these guys up over this way as well. Going after Korea is an option here. It's a little bit of a dangerous one. Portugal could theoretically declare on us. I don't think that they will. Ottomans theoretically could as well. And that's a bit more dangerous, in my opinion. That said, there's still truth to us for another five years. So Ottomans aren't able to do that. Shagatai is angry at us. They could declare on us. I want Ming to get out of this war as soon as they can. It should be fairly soon, I would think. But I do want to start taking over Korea. I don't think we can get the whole of Korea, but we can definitely work on it. We can purchase an ability here as well. Artillery bonus versus fort is pretty good. Although artillery damage from back row is even better. We're going to take that for now. And how are things looking up in Codent? Ah, we can offer vassalization now. There we go. So looking at our vassal situation, Oirad is pretty upset. <laughs> That's not shocking. Portugal is threatening our trade. I don't really care about that. We're going to go to Oirat and improve relations. That'll bring them up to a positive opinion, but only just. Oirat's going to be pretty angry for a good long time. Okay. So over we head here. How are we doing financially? Our financial situation is looking okay to me. Although that's a lot of fort maintenance. Why do we have so much fort maintenance? There's a fort here. We'll get rid of that. And a fort down here. We'll get rid of that too. Cool. Well, that'll help a lot. And we're basically in position here. 
Now, we do have the Usugi Separatists. So, when are those going... And Butuan Separatists as well. Uh, what, are th what are these guys going on about here? Butuan is over here, of course. And we are currently not really doing too much here. What are they upset about? Mostly just Separatism. And overextension a bit. Non-accepted culture, fair enough. We do have quite a bit of Filipino. Could we accept them? That's 11% of our nation. We probably should. So accept Filipino culture. And they're already animist, so that drops them down to 10.9. These guys are Hindu, so fair enough. But we could increase their autonomy, dropping that to 0.9. And Separatism will continue to decay. They're currently at 80%. 18.5 years? That should be fine. I want these Asugi Separatists to spawn immediately. That would be ideal. We'll let the lottery decide here. 242? Not too terrible, but not amazing. So Ming is definitely... Ming getting wrecked here is a problem. That's our biggest issue right now. Ming is our uh, protector. But we'll see what ends up happening with that. Secretive, huh? Okay. 25k Usugi Separatists. They'll pop any moment now. And there's also Hosokawa Separatists here. Those are probably not too bad. We do have a new admin advisor that we can get. Yearly Inflation Reduction. We're down to 1.57% inflation. I don't think that's hugely necessary. Production efficiency is going to be pretty good. And we could try to promote him, but he's not of the correct culture. So he's just going to chill at plus one, which is not ideal, but I guess it'll do. So I do want to get another army going here. And how much gold would this template cost? 759? So we can do a sale of titles here to pay for that. And then we can seize land back. To try to get back up to that 15% national tax modifier. We can get an agenda going here. Base tax in Rakuzin. Um, base production in Amman, probably. That's not what we were looking for. <laughs> there we go. That's right here? Sure. Consider it done. Okay, so with that money, we are going to get ourselves a standard half, and we're going to build that right there. Cool. And we gained 903 ducks as well. Perfect. So that's all well and good. I do want to use that for additional construction. So we'll hop in over here, and I think that we will put in a counting house in a number of locations here. That'll make us some extra cash. At this point, we need to wait for these armies to build. And there we go. Nanai's got that under control. No problem. So Korea is at 165k. They're also down a Miltech from us at this point. We've passed them in Miltech as well. So that's really good. We renewed a couple of loans. Ming is not going to be paying off those loans anytime soon. I can tell you that. Minus 76. I really want this war to end so that Ming can rebuild their forces. Like, I don't really care necessarily about Ming losing this war. Although Delhi plus Bengal is definitely a slightly terrifying combination. There's no doubt about that one. Th that would actually be a good use of the Ottomans' time. Go attack Delhi and Bengal. <laughs> like, right now. Now would be the time for that, actually. They're down to 48k and 24k manpower. So, yeah. That would be the time to do that. But we're bringing in all of these troops over here. We've got ourselves another army. Good to go. In fact, we're missing one unit. It's off over here. So, we're now at 280 out of 286 solid. So we can definitely attack Korea here. And I think that's going to be the plan. The question is, do we wait until after this rebel uprising so that we can bring these guys in? 
That's the question. Spanish particularists? Okay. Uh, this is 0 0.4. We expect that to decay to 0. Point... Well, we expect that to, to decay to 0 next year. Okay. So that's still at 80%. We expect this to not be a thing. Hosokawa separatists are also extant. Okay. So I think having this be a rebel busting army is absolutely fine here. Yeah, I think that's okay. We can grab a dip, or actually an admin idea, if we wanted to. Religious unity plus 25% would be pretty solid. The other option would be construction cost minus 10%. We'll take religious unity for now. So 25% religious unity boosts us up quite a lot. And yeah, that's great. We're really happy about that. That reduces our national unrest again by a decent chunk. And our yearly corruption as well. So that's really, really good. We should probably wait until we're done coring here before we attack Korea. I think that that's going to be important. For one thing, it gives Ming time to get out of this war. They're actually turning it around. And I think the reason for that is because Ming has manpower. Bengal and Delhi do not. And Ming's attacking out over here. So Ming might get that turned around. But I don't really want to go to war right now and make our rivals think that we can be attacked while Ming is in these sort of dire straits for the moment. I do want to go after Korea, absolutely. But I think that this is not quite the moment. I would like Ottomans to get involved in another war that isn't, you know, us, ideally. They want our provinces. These are, of course, down over here. I'd hope they'd give up on those, but no such luck. Ming is losing this fight. They are bringing back that war score a little bit. Ming wants mill power this year. Okay. We're going to lose some Republican tradition here. Yeah, our corruption goes up, but that's okay. We're also going to gain admin power. Our prestige is basically maxed, so this is fine. And we are currently at five years ahead of time here on tech. It would cost us 4,000 to embrace industrialization at this time. But that is improving. We can make states out over here, which we will definitely do. And we will core all of those provinces. And I think we can make another one as well. 10 prestige and Tonkin's opinion, or three Republican tradition and Russia opinion. We're going to take the Russia opinion for the time being, but I don't think that that will stop Russia from attacking us. Okay. The Asugi separatists have gone away. They're now shrinking. Uh, stability. There we go. They're now shrinking. Cool. So, of course, we're rooting out that last half point of corruption, and that's why our cash is, well, actually it's even, not really negative, but we are rooting out corruption, and that is completely fine. Ming, I would love it if you'd exit your war. Our treasure fleet showed up, and we can convert more provinces. We will convert this one. There we go. And that is down over here, and that could, in theory... Let's see, where is that one? Here. That could, in theory, cause quite a bit of unrest here. I'm going to boost the autonomy there just to drop that down. There we go. Okay. So, Codent is, at this point, our vassal. Oirad is our vassal as well. Oirad is still not happy. <laughs> they won't be for a while. We can pull back this guy. Is Nanai's opinion with us maxed? Yes, it is. We're a tyrant overlord, and that will need to go away before we can really do too much with Nanai. Although, we could send them cash and annex them. It's a possibility, but I think we're technically slightly better off right now having them where they're at. We're going to pull back our Ming opinion as well. We don't need that to be coming up for the moment. Siege ability is fine. We'll take that. Sounds good. Ming wants that military power. That's fine. We're at negative two, but that'll be 
that'll be fine. No big deal there. What do you got for troops at this point, Ming? 292k? Okay. Yeah, I mean... Oh, the war's over. The war ended. Ming is out of their war. Now they need to start rebuilding their troops. But they will definitely do that. We lost our natural scientist, and we will go for... This guy, I think. National tax modifier is decent. Yeah. It won't pay for him, but it'll be decent. I do want to go after Korea here quite soon. Now that Ming is out of their war, I think this might be the time. We do an imperialism CB. Yeah. This looks solid. They only have 2,000 cavalry? Okay, that's exciting. And we have way more cannon than them, too. It's more comparable on infantry count, but that doesn't matter here. So, that's fantastic. We're going to head in over this way. I should have had them positioned there, but that's okay. We're going to head in over here. And we'll have this guy here just to be able to reinforce these positions. We'll have this unit come in to here, and then this unit to here. Okay. So, as far as the Navy goes, we can't really contest them, I don't think, navally. 25 heavy ships, 65 galleys. That's fine. We don't need to. But it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to take some provinces from Korea. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, Sigma162, JJ Gamer, Spartan News, Rose Valentine, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.